I've got just one question for you today, and that is, have you heard of Santan Solar? If you haven't, what are you even doing with your life? If you work with solar power of any kind, you've got to go to Santan Solar. I have been using Santan Solar for many years now. As a matter of fact, this bus is loaded with Santan panels. I have 3,200 watts of solar panels on this bus, and it is a massive power system. Santan Solar has shipped out two pallets of solar panels. We are going to be using those panels all over our off-grid grid properties. I'm getting a bunch here for my off-grid property. Uh, I have a bunch of neighbors as well. You may know Aja from Pandemonium. Pandemonium is also getting solar panels that's going to be going on her shipping container, living space that she has outside. It's going to be incredible. I just got a call from the truck driver. He is uh, going to be here in just a little while. So we're going to load up a trailer, get out there. Hopefully we can get all those panels onto the trailer and bring them back here to the property, distribute them out to all of uh, the people that want them, all of the neighbors that need solar panels here. We pretty much run our lives on Santan solar power. Santan is the best place for solar power, energy, products that you can find. I've used them for many, many years. Santan is well, well known in the van life community, in the schooly community, and in off-grid communities. We're getting 50, 250 watt solar panels. So how many watts is that? 50 times 250. What's 50 times 250? We're getting 12,500 watts from Santan Solar today coming in on freight on a semi truck. Two pallets of solar panels coming in real soon. So we gotta get moving. We gotta get out there and meet the truck driver so we can bring them back here to our off-grid properties. I'm gonna be heading out there in the Dodge Dually to get some panels. I don't know if we're all, if we're gonna put them all in here or what, uh, another neighbor has a trailer that we're gonna um, grab. We gotta be out there like real soon. It's just eight o'clock in the morning right now and uh, I'm trying to rally all the troops right now to get everybody going, driving the, dr the Dodge truck out to meet the semi truck out at the pavement. Um, you know, I don't have people drive all the way back here into the neighborhood because it's three and a half miles down a bumpy dirt road and a semi truck just ain't doing that. I'm hauling butt over to Aja's house right now to get all loaded up with the trailer and uh, hopefully we can meet him out there in time. I don't want to have this guy waiting on us. So Aja from Pandemonium is a neighbor. She lives only 10 acres away from me. She's one of the ones that's getting a pallet of these panels. Uh, we're going to be going out there together to pick them up and uh, bring them back here to the property. This is a cool new collaboration between me, Aja from Pandemonium, and Santan Solar. We are uh, all working together to spread the word about how awesome Santan Solar is. A few videos down the road, me and Aja are gonna be doing a Q&A video. So if you have any questions for me, Aja, about whatever you want, just Put those in the comments below this video and let me know what you want to know. We're going to be doing a Q&A. Me and Oz are going to sit down and we're going to do a Q&A video about uh, whatever you want. Do you have questions about off-grid living, van life, uh, solar power, whatever it is that you want to know, leave those questions in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them in the next video. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> You gonna get up there? Oh my goodness, Quill. <laughs> he loves getting into the bed of a pickup truck for some reason. He's like, this is smaller. Yeah, yeah, you didn't have to jump very high at all to no. get in there. <laughs> I had a truck very similar. It had air shocks it, and it was dually as well. Yeah. Yeah, someone stole it. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> someone, stole it, someone stole it. Our plan is to put a piece of siding on here because we're going to see if we can get the guy to roll the pallets directly into the bed of our pickup trucks. And uh, we're going to put a piece of siding on here because this transition is very difficult for like a pallet jack to go over. So we're going to hopefully uh, get a piece of siding on there to make the transition a little easier. All we got to do is get it in here because we don't have to get on the highway or anything. We're just driving slowly down a dirt road, so it's not a big deal. Really, boy, there's the quill. I should have brought his, him some treats. Hey, buddy, there he is. 
Hi, buddy. Hi. He's such a good boy. Yeah, you are. Who's that good boy? I see an Estes truck coming right here. Hey, buddy. There he goes. Heck yeah. Whole load of solar panels coming to our neighborhood. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to slide these uh, solar panels right into the bed of my truck. Hopefully we can get it. Uh, I don't know, but we'll see. I'm backing up to the semi truck right now. That's a bit higher stack than I thought it was. That's beautiful. I'm probably not gonna close the tailgate. That, for real. I mean, we were prepared to unstack them all and, you know, put them in, but this is so much easier. <laughs> okay, so I'll just pull my truck out so she can bring hers in and we'll do the same deal. I hope it fits. Okay. Yep. Uh, hold on. Yeah, it is going to hit. I think you need to straighten your truck out a little bit. Yeah, well, just pull up just a little bit. Just, I mean, pull up just the hair. No, the, the other way. <laughs> right there. Right there. Right there. Yep. There we go. Are you so excited right now? <laughs> For both of us, we're, yeah. She, she's getting one, I'm getting one. Yeah, that's one thing, you're gonna need to be lined up really, uh... Somebody stand right here. You stand right here. You're gonna right, left, left, right. Looking good. I think you need to go to the left. No, it's not gonna hit. It's gonna hit here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Awesome. Just barely. We got lucky. That saved us an hour of work. <laughs> That's so awesome. Let me take a picture real quick. Yeah. Santan coming through with 50 solar panels. It's freaking amazing. Bye, Ricardo. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hey, buddy. We got some solar panels, buddy. Yeah. 
Hey, hey. Oh, stay there, stay. Uh-uh, uh-uh, stay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gotta stay back, buddy. Good boy. Hey, yeah. Hi, bud. <laughs> we got back to the first uh, place where I'm going to be dropping some of these panels off. Like I've said before, Santan literally powers our lives out here. Uh, we all run on Santan solar panels, and uh, this new shipment of panels is going to help us live even more comfortably off-grid. So uh, I'm dropping off 12 here at uh, my friend's house. And then we're going to be um, taking the rest over to my place and dropping those off there. So we got 25 panels in this pallet. Pretty awesome. Uh, you can get this too. Check the link in the description of this video below. Um, you don't have to go to Santan in Phoenix. You can ship them directly to you. They'll put them on a semi truck and bring them right out to you. They have sales sometimes where they discount shipping. They discount the panels. and seriously you can afford solar a lot of people think oh it's such a huge cost and it is a huge cost it's not so crazy though that you can't afford it you can afford to put together a cheap system that will make your life way more comfortable and you don't have to run a freaking generator all the time So this is how the panels are going to be arranged for the long term. As you can see, this is not a very fancy or complicated setup. They are simply laying on the ground. The cinder blocks they are laying on is actually a new addition. For years, this neighbor of mine has just had the panels sitting directly on the ground, but he wanted to elevate them so that they would run a little bit cooler. These two clusters of panels, as you can see laid out, are two series strings, and then those two series strings are put into parallel to keep the voltage under what his inverter required. For those of you who think a solar power system is a super complicated thing, it can be very, very simple. As you can see in this video, this is not fancy. They're just simply laid out on the ground. This system works just fine. If you live in a very wet area, you may want to consider keeping the wires elevated up out of the water. That could be a concern. We really don't get very much rain here, so that's not a concern to my neighbor. So if you were to order a stack of panels from Santan, what I re recommend and what it says to do on the bill is to inspect them immediately. So as I'm unloading all of these, I'm using a voltmeter and checking their voltage one by one. Doesn't ensure that they are totally functional, but it is a good place to start. It is possible for them to have uh, some voltage and still not put out, but it's definitely a good place to start. So I'm gonna unload this one and do a little uh, test on it. I've been testing all of these as I put them over here on the stack and just making sure that the grass isn't the, the glass isn't cracked and that they have voltage. What I'm gonna do is just grab the negative, put the probe in the negative, the positive probe in the positive, and then we got 32 volts right now, which is perfect. It says open so circuit voltage is 37, 
but there's barely any sun right now. We're totally overcast. So I'm happy with that number. That voltage will climb when the uh, sun comes back out, but at least it ensures that there are, there is voltage at the panel and uh, you know, it's in, it's in good shape as far as that goes. I'm just stacking them really neatly in hopes that they stay good until I use them. So, um, yeah, I just like to stack them nice and perfectly, just like I got them off of the, pa the pallet from Santan. So just transferring them all over here to the ground. Quilt's having a good old time. He loves ripping up cardboard. <laughs> but uh, we just got all of them unloaded. Got to get this pallet out of here, get rid of all this trash. But every single panel I took off has been tested. We tested all 25 of them. Every single one has voltage at the panel, so I think they're all gonna be in good working order. No damage whatsoever, no cracks or anything like that. So yeah, I'm stoked, man. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be setting up a nice system with these panels. And uh, yeah, that's it. Even Quill's happy. He gets to play with all this cardboard, right, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Silly guy. Get it, get it. Get it, buddy, get it. Oh yeah, get it. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> look what we got over here. Looky, looky. What we got here, Aja? Uh, the solar panels, there is 24 or 25. Oh, 25, yeah. yeah. So we have them covered now because we are not going to the project until probably a little later. And what, what are you gonna be doing with these? So if you'll turn that way, you can see the shipping container. We're going to do an awning oh, or yeah. a porch off of it. It's mainly going to be an awning because it will um, be put on hinges and can drop down. Mm -hmm. So more like an awning than a porch. That's awesome. And that's going to be powering the solar, the shipping container. Uh, actually, it's going to be powering my, um, we're going to put the inverter into my rig and the rig is what powers because we already have that set up. It's what oh. powers the shipping container. Sweet. Because the okay. um, not the rig, the shipping container was actually um, meant for extra living space for my rig. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Yeah, Santan Solar, man. Like these yeah. are, these are about the cheapest panels you can get. We have used these 250 watt panels over and over again. They're super reliable. They perform good. And they're called the Snail Trail. Um, panels because yeah. they're used. So, yeah, they have but, a blemish, but they're still totally functional yeah. and they work great. Yeah, they but, just uh, get these from people who replace them at their house, but they work, yeah, like you said, perfect. I've been working with Santan for a while and Aja, this is uh, first her first time. time working with Santan Solar. And uh, we both are very familiar with Santan in the Nomad community. Santan Solar is very well known. All the nomads go to Santan to get their panels, but you can ship these across the country. We got these shipped to our property, so we didn't have to run down to Phoenix. So exactly. that was a big money saver right there. Yeah, they do charge you for shipping uh, if you're ordering the panels, but I don't think it's too bad. It's not, they, and they have sales sometimes where they uh, are much cheaper. <laughs> Here wind. comes the wind. Yeah. Welcome to Arizona. They do have sales sometimes where you can get uh, the shipping uh, discounted and stuff so um, but I just wanted to mention me and Audrey are going to be doing a Q&A session if you will drop your comments uh, your questions in the uh, comments of this video uh, I'll be using all those questions to answer whatever you like we're going to do a session uh, pretty soon here we're going to be uh, so do you want the questions to be um, solar related no or they, just I, random I, they can be what, about whatever you like if you have questions about solar we can talk about that if you want to talk about off-grid off-grid living, uh, nomadic living, van life. Uh, we can do whatever. I'm open. I'm an open book and I'm glad to answer whatever questions they are. So, well, thank you, Aja, for Thanks, helping me out with this video. And uh, I'll be in a video uh, with Aja, the Q&A session. Um, we're probably both going to do a little Q&A session and release them on our channel. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in another video real soon. Bye. Bye.